Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite tortoises, the cherry head tortoise. It's basically a red foot tortoise that keeps that incredibly red head. You're about to meet what I call the dark mall tortoise. There are two things I've loved most in this life, bikes and reptiles. Now I crisscross the globe learning about all kinds of incredible animals. Sometimes I know what I'm doing. Other times I'm in over right, my head. Wrong. But one thing's for certain, we'll come away a whole lot smarter after every adventure. This is Camp Kennedy. So the cherry head tortoise. Now, as I mentioned in the open, it's basically a subspecies or a locality of the redfoot tortoise. But the thing about these guys is that they're found in Brazil. So these are Brazilian cherry heads. And the reality is many of them don't attain the size that the redfoot tortoise attains. So this is a kind of a smaller species you can see right around me. You know, this is a egg laying adult female. Now she may get a little bit bigger, she may not. I actually have some females that are pushing true red foot size, but overall they're more vibrantly colored, they keep that red head, and they don't get huge. Now, how do you tell the difference between a cherry head tortoise and a regular red foot? Now that's an interesting question. We also have a little poops stuck to this one right here that I'm going to peel <laughs> off. You got to be okay with poop if you like tortoises, folks. It's not the end of the world. But anyhow, what you want to look at is a couple of things. Number one, the plastron, which I'm scraping the feces off of, because they run over their own feces from time to time, is mostly all black. You can see right here, a very black plastron. And then, another way to tell is this little elbow scoot right here, this little scale right here. It's kind of all alone out there, and it's just poking out. That's another indication. And then finally, the nose on the cherry heads is a little bit more blunt and of course their head is red instead of yellow but I really like these animals these guys do a great job living here in South Florida what I created is again for all reptiles they're gonna need some shade they have a heated shelter for the winter because these guys do not like it cold at all being from Brazil they have a grassy area where they can get full Sun uh, different plants on the perimeter like cactus and hibiscus that I can throw food into for them. Today they're just enjoying a little Missouri tortoise diet which I like to throw out and spread it around the entire enclosure so it really stimulates that kind of foraging behavior that all tortoises do. Remember, tortoises are designed to walk around, nibble, walk around, nibble, and not basically have their food just given to them all over. You can create an obese tortoise in captivity. So I spread it around and let these guys walk around and really investigate their enclosure. Another thing I have to mention about all tortoises, not just the cherry head, is that the cherry head and regular tortoises, they're creatures of habit. You don't really need to go about changing their environment. In fact, that can stress them out. Make sure the watering hole is always where it's going to be. Make sure the food is spread out so they can explore. But don't go changing the furniture around too much because tortoises, they like things consistent. That's why in the wild, certain species, when roads get plowed through their habitat or houses get put up, it really throws them off. Here's another thing to look for when you're dealing with redfoots as opposed to cherry heads, which I have in my right hand right here. So this is a male cherry head, okay? Very small little guy, but it's an adult. He does have the concave plastron right here. You can see that, a long tail. But when you pull out a redfoot, oof, here's a big male redfoot. Look, don't go anywhere, guy. You'll notice that the redfoots have something called wasping. Look at the waist. The waist gets narrow on an adult redfoot male. That does not happen with the cherry head males. So you can also tell it's not a red foot because it doesn't have that wasping. And look at how much smaller it is and it's sexually mature. It's pretty interesting to me. But they both have the big tail and this guy's got an extremely concave plastron. So this is a regular old red foot, albeit a very beautiful one. But you can see the yellow head, has the head is turned when they hatch out, they're red, but they change. And then here is a female cherry head, and she's got that pretty red head. Whereas if she was this size as a red foot, it would have already turned yellow. Another really interesting thing, and I have to go grab this torch. You guys are gonna have to follow me. I have to tell you, this is really cool. 
This animal right here, Big Red, Darth Maul, she was given to me as a red foot. And when I got her, I didn't know that much about cherry heads. Now she is an atypically large cherry head, but they can get a little bit bigger. It's all depending upon their genes and so on. So this gal is a bit bigger, right? But she displayed, and most some cherry head females will display male characteristics. When I first saw her, I thought, well, there's kind of a concavity to the plastron here, and her tail's kind of big. But then I saw her digging a nest and laying eggs. So I got her out of there and consulted with a buddy of mine who said this is just a very big cherry head. We put her in with the rest of the cherry heads, and man, do we get some incredible babies out of this female. So awesome. So sometimes you think you got a male, but in fact, you got a female. Look at that tail. That's incredible. You got a big tail for a gal, lady. Let's put her back down and let her finish eating. I'll show you some of the habitat right here, which I really like. Let's check it out. So, we got big plants here to keep the animals shaded from the harsh South Florida sun. We got some rocks for them to investigate and a water dish. And again, clean water, so important for tortoises. People don't realize it, but you gotta always keep this water clean. They got their hide area back in here. It's heated, it's insulated, and these are some very happy cherry heads. I have 2.8, so two males to eight females. These are my cherry heads, they're amazing. They had a wide variety of vegetation. Green leafy vegetables, yellow squash, shredded carrots. You can get some zucchini in there. I like to do about 80% the broad green vegetation, cactus, things of that nature, the weeds. And then I also like to add in 20% of different non-citrus fruits. That's okay to do with the cherry heads. They come from a more tropical locale. They find fruit more often, so it's okay to include that in their diet. Great animals, can't say enough good things about them. A lot of color in a small, compact size. And man, have we been getting some really beautiful babies out of these. So now you know yet another tortoise species to work with if you're looking and you have some size constraints or space constraints, I'd look at the cherry head. A fantastic animal. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. You can follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. And as always, I'll see you next Tuesday. See ya.